everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a un what, what? Mm? is a get unready with me. So this is the reality. I've had my makeup on all day, I've had my hair like this all day. And I just can't wait to take it off. So I thought I'd film it. I always film a get ready with me and like, you know, do my makeup, do my hair. I never do a get unready with me. You know, let's just chill. Let's just see how greasy my hair is. See how much my skin hates me after this. See what I really, really look like under all this. And let's just be real. The first thing I'm actually going to do is take my hair out because, oh my God. So we're going to do that. By the way, I'm, I'm going to absolutely expect bores myself here because I didn't have any fake tan on my face so I had to use instant tan which I, you'll have seen on my TikTok if you've got me on TikTok. Yeah so I'm actually going to expose myself here so I've never been so pale in my entire life. I've just got instant tan on at the minute so that's why I don't look as pale um, and my hair is greasy it needs washing and um, that's partly why I went for this hairstyle to be fair because I needed a hairstyle that I could still take Instagram photos and stuff in but obviously didn't look as greasy. Oh my God, that feels so nice. Oh my God, I literally had like four wobbles in or something. My hair needs to wash, to be honest. I'm fully gonna get unready. To be fair, I can get unready because um, I've got a quiz going up on my Instagram story at six o'clock. Um, the only things I've got left to do for my to-do list is like stuff that I can sit down and do like on my phone and stuff, so. That's all good. I tell you what, I'm going to take my necklaces off as well. Yeah, I've had such a productive day today. I can't remember if I said in this video it was the last video I was talking about it in. But I had a really exciting email last night. So I'm, uh, I'm buzzing with that. So I've just had such a good day. Like, I've got so much done. It's actually a door. My hair doesn't... Okay, yeah, it looks really greasy. That'll have to do because I can't be bothered. Now, I'm going to actually take my eyelashes off. Ah! Ow! That is some good glue, that, Jesus. It's the, um, the duo, the dark blue duo one, the fast one that literally you put the glue on, then wait, you don't even have to, well, it says you don't have to wait on the box, but, like, usually with eyelash glue, you have to wait, like, 30 seconds, but you literally have to wait, like, 10 seconds. It's like, okay, and then you've got to fiddle about with it and hope that it doesn't dry really quick, which it does, so... <sighs> Now, before anyone starts and says, oh my God, what are you doing? How are you taking your makeup off like that? It's literally just to get like most of it off. <sighs> Baby wipes. This is literally just to get the majority of it off. Just going to Tesco with there. I know I'm such a bad YouTuber. I actually went to Tesco. So it's got a bit darker now. So I'm gonna have to like hurry up and finish this video before it gets like literally pitch black. Um, I'm just going to basically take my makeup off. Basically what I was saying is, is I use baby wipes just to take the initial layer of my makeup off. You know, just to try and get most of it off. And then I will obviously clean my face like with face wash and stuff like that. Oh, wait, I've just realized I've got my earrings in. I put my earrings back in. I put my jewelry back on to go out so I didn't look like a complete scrub. I'd literally put my hair off and took my eyelashes off and then my mum asked me if I wanted to go to Tesco and I thought, oh, perfect timing, love, perfect timing. I have to put my ring light on, you know, just so you can see me a bit better. I've just turned my ring light on and put you on my tripod there because it's just easier to see. But I'm literally just going to be looking in the mirror behind you. I'm going to be so ghostly pale in a minute. It's actually a joke. I actually forgot to put mascara on today, so... I won't have to. These are not the best baby wipes, I won't lie. I'm going to get my makeup remover cloth and I'm going to wet it with water and then take my makeup off that way. Right, so I've just wet this. I've just got a makeup remover pad. Excuse it's a bit dirty. I need to clean it, to be fair. And I'm literally just going to take my makeup off like that. Just try and get most of it off. My eyebrows always look so good after I've like, took them off. And then I'll go in the bathroom and use a cleanser. Just make sure that all of that fake tan is off. No, oh my god, I'm actually so pale. I really need the fake tan. Oh, but my arms and that, they're not even bad. Do you know what I mean? And my hands, fake tan always comes off my hands and my face the quickest. Okay, I can't even see whether that took it all off or not, but 
I mean, it looks good off. This makes your skin feel so unreal. Honestly, I can't even tell you. I'm gonna do a face mask, I think, as well. I may as well do it whilst I'm here. I might make this video into like a get one ready with me slash pamper night type thing. I don't know. Okay, I wouldn't normally do this in the bedroom, but I thought I'd just show you, like, you know, actually get some proper content. I'm just using the Clean and Clear Exfoliate and Daily Wash, and I'm literally just like, lathering that into my skin my skin's been really bad but i think it's because i've been wearing makeup and then i just like to go through my eyebrows because obviously i had clean mascara on just want to make sure all of that is out don't know if that's healthy for my eyebrows or not but you know it's what it is and then when i go into the bathroom i'll do a bit my neck as well but i don't do that like now oh i just like massage that in and then i think i might use a cleanser as well but it's just like an it's not like an exfoliate it's just a cleanser obviously the past few days i've had makeup on my skin's not being the greatest so i just want to like proper you know revamp it i'm gonna do a face mask and everything right i'm gonna go and wash it off <laughs> i don't know how people make their skincare routine looks so like elegant and stuff literally half my hair's fallen out honestly my skin feels insane it is just what it needed so now I'm going to tone my face. I wasn't planning on this being like a skincare thing, but it was more of a just get unready with me. So I feel like we should chat. The video I put up last night, the Sheen Bikini haul, is actually doing really well. It was on like 400 views and hadn't even been up like 24 hours yet. So I'm happy with that. But you'd think, because we were in lockdown, this is the perfect time to get my skin like really good. No, it's actually probably the worst time because I'm doing more Instagram stuff, more YouTube stuff, so I tend to put more makeup on. Like before, literally before COVID, I would hardly wear makeup. And now I've been wearing makeup like this whole year. So my skin is kind of, well, not really hitting on me, but you know, kind of is when I've got, I've got spots coming here. I never ever get spots there. Like I only ever get them on my forehead and my nose and stuff. Um, so yeah, my skin's hitting on me a little bit, but it's fine. We we move i can't believe i've got a spot there like what the hell never ever get spots there oh my god literally i'm gonna put pseudocreme on them i'm gonna do a face mask i'm gonna use my trusty alias skin oh my god this literally makes my skin feel unreal but yeah i've had such a productive day today you know what it was i just got up this morning sometimes on a morning i'll think oh am i gonna have a good day or is it just gonna be like another like you know stressful day and to be fair because I'm due on, my hormones are literally all over the shop. So, like, someone pisses me off and that's it. I'm like, Ooh. But no, I've been pretty good, to be fair. Um, I say I'm due on, right? Two months ago or something, I stopped taking my pill. Because I have no reason to. The only reason I've been taking it the past few years is because, well, obviously, you know, I'm contraceptive and that. But I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know if this is too much information but i don't i'm not going to say it but i don't need it <clears throat> and um basically because we were in lockdown the only reason i was oh yeah that's what i'm saying so the only reason i was still taking my pill is so i knew when my periods were to plan it around stuff if that i know that's really strange so anyways i thought well, why am i putting this stuff into my body when i seriously don't need to especially in lockdown so anyway i stopped taking my pill but now i don't know when i'm on after stopping taking it like the first time um, I thought I was going to come on like when I normally would and I didn't. I came on the Tuesday after. So then it would work out that I should have been on Tuesday just gone. But it's Thursday now and, and there's still nothing. So now I'm a bit confused as like it'll have been five weeks now. So I'm like, eh. um, I'm not sure if I'll start taking it again. Um, like when we can go out and stuff. Because that's obviously like I said, that's the only reason I was taking it is so I could plan stuff whether I would be on or not. And obviously I can carry my pillow over if it falls on that day or whatever. But I've also seen, seen something the other day, it was how the contraceptive pill has a higher risk of blood clots than that new vaccine, which is actually really true. I feel like I just shouldn't put it in my body. So I think I might stop taking it, I don't know. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take it anymore. I do feel better in myself to be fair, like much happier. I don't know if that's due to the pill, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this face mask to dry now. Oh my God, right? So not me literally just say, ah, oh, my face. Not me literally, oh my God, I'm literally stiff as a board. Not me literally sat here filming this video with a face mask on to then realize it's nearly six o'clock and my quiz has to go up on Instagram. <laughs> I don't wanna laugh. I'm gonna have to go and take this off because it's hurting now. 
My face is cracking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much better. Why is this spot gone like this? Oh my god, it's literally gone massive. Surely not. Also, I've got face mask in my hair. Oops, it does say on the tub to not get it near your hair, but it's fine. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow anyway. Um, I'm then just gonna put some moisturizer on and loads of it. I feel like my skin needs loads and loads of moisturizer. So usually, right, usually I would use this one, which is the Nighttime Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb, but when my skin really needs some good moisture, I like to use the Nivea soft moisturizer. So I'm literally gonna put so much. I don't know if you've seen that. I don't know if I caught that on the camera. I'm trying to get like the last last bit out of the tube. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all out. I literally I'm just gonna smother my face in this moisturizer. You don't even know. And then I'm gonna take my face roller. No, but honestly, I don't really know how to get my skin back to good because. And, and like wear makeup, do you know what I mean? I just go with what my skin wants to do, to be honest now. Right, that'll do. Now I'm gonna put the super cam on. I'm gonna stick loads on there. Um, I'm gonna get my jammers on now. And yeah, and then I think I'm gonna end the video because I think that's literally me done. But in fact, I'll just end it now because I can't decide, I can't bother to like move you and then pick my jammers and stuff. Anyway. That is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm not really sure how this video is going to turn out because it's obviously a few different clips, but hopefully I got some good content. I mean, hopefully you enjoy sitting down with me and looking at how actual pale I am and how awful my skin actually is. Just keeping it real with you all, you know. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, comment down below anything you want to see in the future, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.